Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to do minimum stack of lead code. Let's understand the question first, then we will move to the approach. So we have to design a minimum stack. So let's understand what is a stack first, then we will try to understand what is a minimum stack. So a stack is basically like you can say that it's a container which will store the value and whatever value will go first will come out last like so basically what we say is stack is last in first out so whatever goes in inside the stack last will come out of the stack first so for example if i push 2 then 1 then 3 and then 4 then if i want to remove all the elements from the stack the operation is called as pop Okay, so I, in which order I will get the elements, I will get first 4, I will get then 3, then 1 and then 2, 2. And in which order we push, like to add an element to the stack, we use push. So 2, 1, 3, 4. This was our order to push and this is the order in which we have got the elements out, pop. Okay. So basically stack is last in first out. Now what is a minimum stack? So minimum stack is basically a stack similar to this but it will have one more element with it and that one more element will be the minimum value at that particular time. Okay so for example I push 2 so I will also push the minimum value of the stack. So right now the stack is empty. The minimum will be also be 2. Okay. Now I push 1 over here. Now which is less? 1 or 2? We know that 1 is less than 2. So the minimum value will become. So this will be value. And this will be minimum. Okay. Now we push 3. We have pushed 3. Now what is the minimum? So we will compare this and this. So 1 will be minimum over here then we, we are pushing 4 again we will check what is minimum so minimum will be 1 okay so <clears throat> this is our minimum stack so it will have the value which is at the top and it will also ha have the minimum value for the complete stack what what is the minimum value which the stack is having or holding that also it will have and this is normal stack okay now how we are going to implement it so basically we are going to create a data structure which will be call, co called as node okay and inside this data structure we will have one int value okay one int int will be this will be our minimum value at that particular time and the third one will be node itself which will have which will have the next next reference of the stack like for example if i pop out this element then i need the reference for this element right so this node will hold the reference of the element which is after the top element okay let's try to implement this over here okay so we need we need our data structure to be there so let's create the data structure first so it will be a private data structure because this data structure we are creating because we want to implement minimum stack so int the value will be private int value or we can have well okay then private int minimum value and private node next okay now we will have the constructor for this class so private private node and it will accept value minimum and next node okay and here we will do this dot well is equals to well then after that this dot minimum is equals to minimum 
then the last one is this dot next is equals to next okay one more constructor we will have to create when the stack is empty so when the stack is empty node will be null okay so in that case we will create int value int minimum so we will pass the minimum value when we will pass the actual value okay so this dot well value is equals to value then this dot minimum is equals to minimum and this dot next we will initialize with null so this 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 constructor will get used when we will have we will start like we'll push the first element into our stack okay so this is our class now now okay so let's understand the operations first so they are going to create an object of minimum stack first okay so when they create when they will create an object of first we need an object of node so what we will do we will create a node object private node and this will be called as our head of the stack okay now when we want to push an element then we will check if head is null when head will be null what we will do we will do head is equals to new node and we will call the second constructor which does not have the next node okay so we will pass the value and minimum so i explained that the when the first element will get pushed so the element and the minimum value will be same because there is only one element to get compared okay if this is not the case then what we will do we will do head is equals to new node okay now we will pass the value now to pass the minimum value what we will do we will compare the current value we will compare the current value whatever the value is and we will compare the head dot head dot minimum value so whatever minimum value we had in the last stack top okay that and the current value we will compare and whatever the minimum will be we will pass it and at the end we will pass the last current node which will be our next node okay so this is our push operation now when we want to pop an element simply we will do head is equals to head dot next simply it will remove the last element okay now top top what top will do it will just pop basically it will just check what what is the element on the top okay so we will return head dot well new it's well new well only okay and get minimum what get minimum will do it will also return head dot minimum okay let's try to run this code yeah we have some error one error is this okay we don't have any compile time error let's try to submit this question and as you can see it works perfectly fine so if you like the video like the video and share with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you so much for watching this video bye